Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Chris Bosch reveals he had offers to play in the EuroLeague. Former Miami Heat big man Chris Bosch said a few days ago that he received offers to play overseas in the past. More specifically, the offers came from teams in the EuroLeague, which is one of the more talented international basketball leagues in the world. Real Madrid, FC Barcelona and AS Monaco are just a few of the noteworthy teams that compete in the EuroLeague. Bosch may have never played in the EuroLeague, but he participated in Goran Dragic's farewell game, called Night of the Dragon, on August 24, which took place at the Stasis Arena in Slovenia. Dragic and Bosch were teammates with the Heat for a short time. The 40-year-old played 13 seasons in the NBA for two teams, the Heat and Toronto Raptors. He was the franchise player for much of his time with the Raptors, and so he put up the best individual numbers of his NBA career in Toronto. When Bosch joined forces with LeBron James and Dwayne Wade on the Heat, he had to sacrifice a lot in terms of his usage on the offensive end. During his four seasons complementing the star duo, he never averaged more than 18.7 points per game in a single season. It's worth mentioning that Bosch averaged 20.2 points per game for his Raptors career. But while Bosch wasn't Miami's de facto scoring option like he was in Toronto, the Heat teams he played on were some of the best he was ever a part of, and perhaps the trio wouldn't have won two titles and reached four NBA finals if it weren't for Bosch's willingness to play a lesser role. Bosch won his titles with the Heat in the years 2012 and 2013. The former Georgia Institute of Technology standout saw his career with the Heat and in the NBA get cut short by injuries, though. He retired from the league in his early 30s due to a blood clot condition. In his last season in the NBA, the 2015-16 campaign, he averaged 19.1 points and 7.4 rebounds per game across 53 regular season games played. Best targets for the Houston Rockets ahead of 2024-25 season. The Houston Rockets' 2024 offseason has been a mix of strategic moves and careful planning as they look to improve on their late-season surge from last year. After finishing the 2023-24 season strong with a 17-11 record post-All-Star break, the Rockets have prioritized adding complementary pieces to support their young core. Their most notable draft pick was Reed Shepard, selected third overall, who brings elite shooting to a team that struggled from beyond the arc last season. With 12 returning players, including their starting five, Houston could be eyeing veterans and stars who can help them make a serious push towards playoff contention. 1. Jimmy Butler Jimmy Butler has been a cornerstone for the Miami Heat with his leadership, clutch performances, and ability to elevate his game in the playoffs. Yet, the 2023-24 season was challenging for Butler and the Heat. He managed to play in 60 regular season games, averaging 20.8 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 5.0 assists per game, but injuries began to take their toll. Unfortunately, Butler's season came to an abrupt end due to an injury that kept him out of the playoffs, significantly impacting Miami's chances as they were eliminated in the first round by the Boston Celtics. With Butler sidelined, the Heat's early playoff exit raised questions about the future of their star player. Butler is set to earn $45 million in the 2024-25 season, and while he remains one of the league's top competitors, there's growing speculation that he may not be part of Miami's long-term plans. Reports indicate that Butler has not shown interest in signing a contract extension, which has fueled rumors that he could test free agency after the upcoming season. This development puts Miami in a tough spot, as they must decide whether to trade Butler now to recoup value or risk losing him for nothing next summer. The situation has sparked considerable debate among analysts and fans. Some believe the Heat should capitalize on Butler's current trade value and start a retooling process around younger players like Bam Adebayo and Tyler Harrow. Others argue that keeping Butler gives the Heat their best shot at remaining competitive in the short term, even if it means potentially losing him in free agency. 
for the Houston Rockets, acquiring Butler would be a game-changing move. The proposed trade package includes Dylan Brooks, a player who brings toughness and defensive intensity, traits highly valued in Miami. In addition, the Rockets are offering two of their top young prospects, Amen Thompson and Cam Whitmore, both of whom have the potential to develop into key players for the Heat. The inclusion of a 2025 first-round pick further sweetens the deal, giving Miami valuable assets for their future. If the Rockets can land Butler, they would be adding a proven veteran with a history of success in the playoffs, someone who could mentor their young core and help them transition from a rebuilding team to a playoff contender. For Miami, this trade would allow them to begin a new chapter, potentially avoiding the risk of losing Butler in free agency and setting the stage for future success with a younger roster. It's a high-stakes decision that both franchises must weigh carefully, considering their immediate and long-term goals. 2. Kyle Kuzma Kyle Kuzma's name has been buzzing in trade rumors all summer, especially after a solid season with the Washington Wizards where he averaged 22.2 points, 6.6 rebounds, and 4.2 assists per game. Kuzma's scoring ability and versatility have made him a hot commodity, but with the Wizards in the middle of a rebuild, it might be time for them to cash in on his trade value. The Wizards made a big move in the 2024 NBA draft by picking Alex Saar with the second overall pick. Saar is a 7-foot-1 center from France with his defense and shooting touch. Washington seems committed to building around young talents like Saar, Pool, and more promising players, which has only fueled the speculation that Kuzma might be on his way out. Blockbuster three-team trade would send Jamal Murray to Miami Heat. The best word to describe the Miami Heat at the moment would be stagnant. It certainly feels like the franchise have stood still while others around them have sprinted ahead this offseason. The Philadelphia 76ers signed Paul George. The New York Knicks added Mikal Bridges. The Boston Celtics are the defending champions. As for the Heat, their most significant addition this offseason has been Alec Burks. Do not get us wrong, the 33-year-old is a solid player. But is he a game-changer who will turn them into contenders? Definitely not. In fact, the Heat roster is probably weaker now, having seen Caleb Martin leave for the 76ers this summer. So, it is clear that the Heat need to make something happen. They are not the only ones on that boat though. The Denver Nuggets, against whom the Heat lost the NBA Finals in 2023, find themselves in a similar situation just a year after winning their first-ever ring. They have seen some key players from their championship-winning side move on recently, while plenty of other teams seem to have moved ahead of them in the NBA pecking order. Could it all lead to them considering a blockbuster trade to shake things up? On Fadeaway World, Ishan Bhattacharya proposed a three-team trade that would see the Heat receive Jamal Murray, Kelly Olenek and Julian Strother. The Nuggets would get Tyler Harrow, Nikola Jovic, Josh Richardson and 2029 first-round pick, MIA. The Toronto Raptors would acquire Duncan Robinson, 2026 second-round pick, LAL, and 2031 second-round pick, DEN. Regarding the trade, Bhattacharya wrote, the likelihood of the Nuggets breaking up the Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray duo is nearly zero, but it's interesting to see what the Nuggets could try to fetch in hypothetical deals made by fans. This deal gets the Nuggets robust rotational depth while adding a pick, with the Heat adding multiple win-now pieces in a deal also featuring the Raptors. Of course, that is an ambitious trade suggestion, to say the least, and it is more than likely that the Nuggets would try to stick with the duo of Jokic and Murray, a player who they drafted in 2016 with the seventh overall pick. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jamal Murray? Leave your opinion in the comments.